all right so what is going on today youtube and i'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it it's probably been up for about an hour hour and a half but i just seen it uh possibly 30 minutes ago but i've literally sat here and recorded the first video and it was 30 minutes that's how excited i am about these cards um but yeah man let me just go ahead and give you my thoughts on the cards my ratings and i'm going to explain to you if you guys do not know what these are these are the new zombies coming out in the next set which is coming out on august 4th sneak peek is on the 30th i believe no the 29th sneak peek is on the 29th this is a ritual based zombie um deck so let's go ahead and go ahead and get started um we're gonna first start off with samurai skull and this card is literally one one simple word away from being a fucking mandatory staple and i think konami knew what they were doing and they they did it anyway so i'm gonna try to keep my custom to a minimum while i'm explaining this card but you guys are going to understand my frustration. So, Samurai Skull, 1700, zero defense, dark zombie. Great. Level four, amazing. When this card is normal summon, you can send one zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. Cool, right? Yeah. If this face-up card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one level four lower zombie. The only thing holding this back is that a fact that it cannot if it's destroyed by a battle it doesn't get the effect if it can be if it was destroyed by a battle or a card effect this card right here there's really no reason you, you guys are not playing it in your zombie deck well, for one it sends something to the graveyard for two it replaces itself with another monster what else could you ask for in a monster that's the only thing that's making this card um ass and it's, it's not really an ass card i would give it like a six out of ten it's not really an ass card because of the first effect. The first effect to send a zombie is just good. And especially with these Vendreds, that's just even better because they have effects based off in the graveyard. And then when I explain the rest of the cards, you're going to understand why. But, man, this, this it's just one word, man. This If it was literally, you're probably main three. I, you know what? It's mandatory at one. You may play three, though. Because the fact that I can just normal summon and plop plop this motherfucker on the board send a zombie and just sit go ahead and no matter what you do i'm gonna get another zombie out and that's that's just amazing but you know what i'm still excited beggars cannot be choosers so let's go ahead and get to the ritual which is revan dread slayer and is a dark ritual 2400 attack zero defense and you guys are going i mean when i well i mean i'm gonna explain everything and then i'm gonna get to you exactly why this card is possibly perfectly built so yeah so let's go ahead and get to the effect you can ritual summon this card with any vendor ritual spell so by that you can already know you already got you guys can probably already tell we're going to get more vendor ritual spells and more ritual monsters so that's cool with me um once per, once per battle if this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation you can banish one zombie it gains 300 so it can go to 2700 easily that's cool and then if it's sent to the graveyard, you can add a ritual spell, any ritual spell from your deck to your hand. Does not have to be um, a Vendred when it's any ritual spell. And then you can send a Vendred to the graveyard. So that's pretty cool. I'm not tripping about that. And you're going to use it once per turn. So that's pretty good. I really like the zombie. I would give it an 8 out of 10. It, uh, I guess the effect could be better, but you, the secondary effect is fantastic. So the third effect, I mean the third, not third effect, but the third card is uh, Vendred Re Re Revenant. If this card is in your if this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's card by battle or card effect, easily what could have been on Samurai Skull, but you know it's okay. Um, and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. And then a Vendred Ritual Monster, I mean Monster Ritual Summon, using this card on the field gains this effect. Um, you can only use the preceding effect of Vendred Revenants once per turn. Once per turn, you can target one spell summon monster and banish it. So, uh, your opponent controls and banish it. So, if you use it for a ritual summon, wait, what? Wait, wait what? Let me see. Um, using this card on the field. So, this has to be on the field to gain the effect, which, uh, wait, what? Oh, wait, no, 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 never mind. The monster just has to be on the field. So, that's, I mean, clearly, but that's, that's just stupid. I, Konami sometimes does some stupid shit. But, pretty much, you get a free zeta actually you get a free yeah cyphering lord zeta but you don't lose your monster you just banish your opponent's monster so that's just cool and you have a, a built-in trick clown this card is pretty good it, it's a pretty good card i'll give it like a, a seven it, it, it's okay um and now on to the ritual spell which i po i think this is probably possibly now maybe a little biased here but this possibly may be the best ritual spell um of all time i don't know if you guys know a better one let me know but 
Let's go ahead and read this effect. This card can be used for a ritual summon of any Vendred ritual monster. So that's another key. Uh, I mean, another clue of, you know, we're going to get more from your hand or a graveyard. So not only do we only possibly need, we actually only need to run one of them because we can either put it in, you know, it's either going to be in our hand or we're going to be in our graveyard and we can just get it back with this. So you must also tribute monsters from your hand field and or banish zombie monsters from your graveyard. So that this is what's making this like the first two lines the first two lines of this goddamn ritual spell is already busted i can summon a ritual monster from a hand or graveyard and i i can tribute monsters from my hand field or i can banish zombie monsters uh sure news you guys understand what that means right yes exactly and then you don't even have to be equal you can be it can exceed the level two so that's even better there's really no restriction and then if one of our slayers would be destroyed by battle or a card effect we can banish this to protect it so a built-in protection you can summon it from anywhere and you can banish from. I mean, you can you contribute from anywhere. Technically, that's pretty busted. That's why I think this is the best card. If you guys know any better one, let me know. Um, and then the trap card. This right here is 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 the craziest shit I've ever read. And it's a secret for a reason. Um, target one faced up monster your opponent controls that has a level. Tribute it. And then if you do, special summon one Vendred token with the same level. And um, while you control it you cannot normal summon or special summon monsters except vendred so i know what you guys are wondering how long is this we're in six minute territory i'm gonna try to hurry up and finish um but i know what you guys are wondering why why is this you know why is this the stupidest shit you ever read Did, i mean do you guys not know what it says first of all for one it's not once per turn for two you can distribute a fucking monster for no reason there's a lot of cards that protect shit from getting destroyed there's a lot of shit that says this card is uh you know cannot be targeted cannot be this cannot be that this shit just says tribute a monster that has a level and has literally every mo every monster in Yu-Gi-Oh has a level except for link monsters but you can't get to link monsters usually without using a level so this shit tributes a fucking monster and gives you a token and then what that's it <laughs> there's no <laughs> there's no pay a thousand there's no pay three thousand you just get a free fucking token for no reason they're tributing monster your opponent go crystal wing tribute they go into a fucking uh they go into uh goddamn master i mean masterpiece I, I don't even know how that works with masterpiece because like if it's unaffected by certain shit but you can like i don't know if you i don't think i don't know if you can econ it but i've seen shit that's unaffected get like e like get tributed like that's that's what I'm talking about. Like, like that's that, that that's fucking busted. I don't know like the complete rulings on this, but this card right here, and you know why I know it's busted is because it's a fucking secret. <laughs> that's how I know Konami knows what it's doing. This card right there is possibly going to be a fifty to sixty dollar card, which sucks because now we can't use it, and it's like for us. But I mean, I feel like this card is really going to be played maximum of three. There's literally no reason not to play it. Um, I guess the only downfall, I guess, is, I guess, it's a trap and you have to wait. But besides that, you just tribute a monster and get a token, which is completely stupid. But that is all for today, folks. I'm just going to get out of here. I don't want it to be too long of a video. I'm just going to shut, you know, shut it down now. You guys let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm very excited. I, I really enjoy I, I you know what everything everything is like a common and a rare this is the only thing that's a secret and you guys already can see why it's a secret you guys let me know do you think this trap card is going to be busted do you what do you think this card is even going to do um what are your thoughts on the um what's the name the, the vendreds in general are you excited are you going to play them are you going to test them or not i'm definitely going to do all five and i don't even know if i named five i'm de definitely going to do all of them though so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy it like comment and subscribe and if you guys can click on that to help support the channel i know this is very late in the video but you know what man if you guys can i would be helpful thank you guys for watching um let me know your thoughts and stuff like that and yeah man we we, we finally got some zombie cards man i'm excited